Today we're at the Slough Creek Trailhead and the six of us are gonna uh, hike up this uh, mountain here behind me and drop down into what's called the meadows. So we're gonna be hiking through the first meadow. Our campsite is in the second meadow and we're gonna do a lot of fishing up in the third meadow. Uh, overall, it's a, a total hike of around 11 miles in to the top of the third meadow and then back out. So we're gonna be here all day and overnight and uh, looking forward to uh, this backcountry uh, hiking trip. All right, Eric, here we go. Go. I'm ready. Here we go, J-Mo. Armed. Armed and dangerous. Let's go, boys. Gorgeous place to catch your breath, isn't it? Beautiful. Whew. All right, as I, as the girl I hike with all the time, my wife's friend, I'll, I'm gonna be Kim. Make sure you're drinking water. Hey, buddy. What's up? Tell me about. Tell me about what's on your mind. Yeah. So today is the. 20th anniversary of uh, September 11th. So as I was packing my packs this morning and everything, you know, full bunker gear, SCBAs, all that way, 45, 48 pounds. And so as we're hiking this trail up to Slough Creek today, just remembering the everybody who lost their lives 20 years ago, and especially the 343 firefighters. So decked out in Durango fire shirts and caps and yeah just a, a little bit of a different meaning on the hike this morning so just remembering really puts things in perspective bud that it that it does on a nice picturesque trail in the back country of Yellowstone to think of those firefighters who yeah. carried these same weighted packs up a hundred flight of stairs. About a minute ago, the second plane would have hit the tower. So, so yeah. Makes me extremely grateful for the country we live in and the people who serve our country. Also makes me especially grateful for my friendship with you. There you go, buddy. Your volunteer service to your local fire department in Durango. Hey, thanks for saying that. Absolutely. This is the first meadow of the Slough Creek. I love how I made it a little harder to get to. Yeah. <laughs> Beautiful testimony. <laughs> Brilliant. <laughs> <laughs> this is what pastors are for, all right? We're capturing testimonies. Uh, yeah, we live up there. Oh, cool. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. Horse and wagon be nice right around now, huh? Mm-hmm. Amen. Yeah. There it goes. The other way. I don't think it's gonna help us. I think we yeah, missed a ride. Coming back. Not coming back. Alright boys, welcome to the second meadow of the Slough Creek. There it is. As far as you can see. Just coming into the second meadow. Slough Creek. Man. Pretty sure the video doesn't even do justice to what I'm seeing here, but absolutely beautiful. Say hi to my family, Dave. 
Hey. This is my new buddy Dave, and that's my old buddy Og. All right, Dave. This is where we turn off the main trail. Let's go set up camp. Ready, ready. We're good. Good. Yeah. Well, I'm sorry, boys. 2S4 is not the site we were looking for. Uh, it's a beautiful site. It's right on the water. I thought we were on the water. Um, but we've overhiked ourselves. Just uh, chalk it up to another Augie mistake. And we're going to hike back to 2S3. Which means we get to make another entrance video. That's right. We'll do another entrance video here in a minute. <laughs> Absolutely. Uh, that's, stay tuned. That's the upside. Stay tuned. Now, Joe was uh, wise enough to figure out that we overhiked our campsite. So he went for a little run. Catch up with us. Make sure we were okay. You're a good friend, man. <laughs> Eric, we are sure glad to find you. <laughs> we're wondering, which campsite are we staying at? We're staying at this one, mm. 2S3. 2S3, not 2S4. No, not 2S4. All right, well, that we way, another mile. Were you... We just uh, picked out our campsite here at 2S3, not 2S4. My buddy Jameson here thought for sure we were at 2S4 as well. But... I was positive. I made, I made him show me the email and reservation. <laughs> so uh, we found this beautiful grassy knoll here. Nice flat spot behind us. It's it's really awesome. But the best part of this uh, grassy knoll, we'll call which it Lover's Bluff, which we're going to call Lover's Bluff, is that we get to wake up to this. All right, Jameson and I set up our tent on the Lover's Bluff, 150 yards away is the actual... And I'm going down there now. Oh, Joe's gonna set up with us. All right, really a Lover's Bluff now. This is the 2S3 proper campsite. You can see there's a bear box back there, a ginger bear standing right next to it. And then if you just pan around here, you can see our uh, fire site and kind of where we're hanging out this evening. Another view out of, you see Eric's coming down from up top there. They must have their campsite set up there. Hey Eric, are you guys up the hill there? Yes, sir. All right, I'm gonna go up and take a look. Hey Dave. Yes, sir. And you picked out an awesome spot for your tent. Take a look. Beautiful. Can't beat the view. You got Dave here and Eric and Bill. It's gonna be home for a night. Hey Joe. Hey man. Welcome to Lover's Bluff. It's windy up here in Lover's Bluff. A little windy, but gorgeous nonetheless. Yes. So I thought Augie was going over to go to the bathroom again. Because huh. this is where we drink and everything, but he's actually just taking his weenies. I'm gonna put my weedy in the cold water. Now he's putting the weenies next to my weenies. And I'm gonna have to finish that flask tonight to forget everything else that happens. I can neither confirm nor deny that Jameson finished what was in that flask. What I can contest to though, is later that same night, sitting around our campsite there in the second meadow of Sloop Creek, those brats cooked over the open flame tasted perfect. I apologize if you're disappointed that there wasn't a love scene in a video entitled Lover's Bluff. But then again, if you're at all familiar with YouTube, you know sometimes how deceiving thumbnails and titles to videos can be. One thing that's not deceiving is the size of the golden cutthroat we caught later that day after hiking up to the third meadow of Slough Creek. If you want to skip ahead to episode three, go ahead and click the video right there. Or if you want to catch up and watch episode one featuring our day as a group fishing on the Lamar River, go ahead and click the video up there. 
If you have any questions about how you can plan your own backcountry trip to Yellowstone, simply ask me any question in the comments below or check out the description of the video. There you find my email address and some other helpful information. If you enjoyed today's video, give me a thumbs up. Subscribe if you haven't already subscribed. Again, thank you for watching The Angler's Path. Episode 3 is coming right up.